Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We're having a look at your November 2022 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Keep in mind, folks, this is a general reading, so not all the messages that come out will resonate with all of you. Take what does, leave the rest behind, and you may want to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings as well for the big picture. We've got a big, powerful full moon eclipse in the sign of Taurus uh, on November 8th. So you may find that this is a time for you to really turn things around in regards to your money. You may be making some final decisions to maybe close a chapter. You're looking for something better, something a little bit more fulfilling. Um, this is a time for you where you may be changing your spending habits. Okay, You may have some things that come to fruition for you here, okay, but you may also be finding yourself setting the stage um, for the next number of months, right, making some um, final decisions and things uh, about what you want to do next, okay, or where you want to go. You might be setting some um, really big goals for yourself. Um, there is an element of surprise that comes in with eclipses, and of course, the um, it started off with the Scorpio solar eclipse um, on October 25th. So this could really, if uh, you may really be experiencing some big shifts in energy or change in perspective. Okay, but there may be something that comes in um, via a surprise, okay, and we do have this um, particular full moon in Taurus that is landing right by Uranus, which is the planet of radical change. And this can go either way for you. You might be the instigator of your own change, but there may be some things that are a little bit out of your control. Okay, but it's a necessary change that's coming in here. You may need to really use your resources or be a little bit resourceful in the month ahead. We do have the horned as cactus coming in. And again, this energy can kind of go both ways. For one, cacti, cacti um, need to be cautious about how much resources they um, they use, right? They store water either in them or underground or depending on the cactus. And so this could certainly be that message coming in to you here from Spirit that you might need to really watch your resources in the month ahead, okay? Be a little bit conservative with your energy. Um, maybe really look at things that, you know, do you really need something or is it just a want, a desire? So sometimes we need to be a little bit discerning with our money, okay? But this also shows that there's a lot of different resources at your disposal as well, but you need to go find them. You need to look for them. So asking for help, doing some research, um, putting yourself out there, taking some sort of action, Okay, and if there's some information that you need or something that you're not aware of, the resources that are there to help you make a decision or to get you where you want to be. Be open and ready to receive with the cosmic womb, okay? There is something here that you can harness, that you can capture, but you need to be open to it. Now, for one, the divine feminine, the cosmic womb has to do with the moon cycles, okay? Being open, being in touch with your emotions, with your feelings, all right? And But when we have this thing, it, there is the opportunities that are blossoming in your world, okay? So something is growing behind the scenes, something is happening behind the scenes. It's your ability to create and to start new things, the birth of new ideas, new projects, new jobs, okay? All of these things are um, have the potential to blossom in your, in your world, okay? You need to, number one, be open to different kind of experiences, different opportunities, because sometimes the best opportunities don't look like what we expected, okay? So you got to keep that open mind and open heart there, but you also may need to be a little bit resourceful to, to make something happen for yourself or to find what it is that you're looking for. But we do have some forward movement coming here for you too. We've got the spirit of the river, okay? Movement towards adventure. Now it is card number five, okay? So fives do quite often represent obstacles and challenges, but they also represent exciting new adventures, so there may be something here that, uh, number one, you're moving forward, okay? There's some bold movements here. So maybe you're making some decisions or you're taking some action on things. Things are blossoming and prospering and prospering in your world, and wouldn't that be nice? Okay, but I also do think here that you are making some moves and you've been going through a time. 
here, Gemini. I think you've been um, experiencing some challenges or trying to overcome some obstacles, just like a lot of people are. You might be really kind of worried about what is yet to come as well. And Spirit says here, it's now is the time to make some moves, to make some decisions, because there is this energy of overcoming. So you might need to get out of your comfort zone <laughs> here, Gemini, okay? Um, because when we talk adventure, that doesn't, doesn't typically mean something that is, you know, um, within your, uh, your comfort zone, the little cocoon that you've built for yourself, so to speak. So you might need to take a risk, take a chance, take a gamble, um, a little bit, gamble on yourself. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone and head out on some adventures. So you might need to try something new and something different. We have a walking away energy with the eight of cups. For some of you, you are on quite the journey. You are leaving a situation behind because you're on the quest to find something better. Okay, so you're detaching emotionally or you already have. And quite often, if people are looking for change, especially if you're looking to change jobs, um, quite often we do detach um, um, emotionally, spiritually, physically before we actually detach, um, sorry, um, spiritually, mentally before we detach physically right? The physical movements are the last thing that we do. So you might be going through a little bit of an inner journey here and you might be making a decision that, you know, is it time to walk away from where you are right now to go on a journey, a new journey towards some new adventures? You may not know what the road ahead um, holds for you. You just know that uh, there's some, uh, something better than where you are now, okay? Um, but this can also be you making some bold moves towards your success is after the eight of cups is the nine of cups what are your goals what are your dreams where does your happiness lie okay so you might be actually making some bold moves to level up in the month ahead here as well towards your success towards abundance and prosperity in your world the king of buttons shows your ability here this is a blessing for you okay so you may have something that really does come to fruition you may have, um, you know, something that you've been working hard towards that you're walking towards now with the King of Buttons. This brings you success and prosperity. This brings you an energy of abundance and great affluence, okay? But this also brings you in, as far as your money goes, being very diff um, um, uh, disciplined, okay, with how you spend your money. And with the Eight of Cups, you might have something that you really want that you need to walk away from, that you need to leave behind. Why? Because you're being very discerning with your money and your finances right now with that King of Buttons. You're taking things very practically. You're not making emotional decisions with money at this time, okay? And this is how you keep your resources, but the King of Buttons shows that there is a lot of positive opportunities that are available for you now as well, okay? This can certainly be that you're moving towards, um, you know, a great success in your world, okay? You might be making some purchases or you might need to negotiate something, okay? And when you negotiate, what do you do? You might need to actually say no to something first and then someone comes back, oh, but we want you, we want you, okay? So certainly a blessing for you is that King of Buttons, that King of Pentacles, awesome energy, your ability to take the lead and get what it is that you want. You may have some uh, a person around you that has an opportunity for you, that has advice for you, um, uh, that can help you with your money in some way, or help some help you bring something to light. Okay, help help you bring something through to fruition. This person in the upright has a very positive influence on you. They're really good with money. They might have a lot of it themselves, or they may just be really successful. This is also a great time for you to step into the lead, to take the lead role on your money, to forge a new path, if that's what you're looking for, or to step into like um, a leadership role in some way, okay? So certainly some incredibly positive energy there for you. We've got the Four of Needles coming in here as advice from Spirit. Um, Take your time, okay? For one, I think there's a peaceful resolution to something coming in here for you. Um, this is a time when you can really meditate and you can um, attract things into your world, okay? You can set the stage to set some intentions to bring new opportunities, um, you know, bring some more money into your world or to help you make the right decisions. We do need to sometimes calm our mind, okay? And we need to take things, do things on a practical 
um, or a calm approach, right? We're not making rash decisions here. This is very calm, very patient, very practical energy with the king of buttons here. And that is sometimes our key to success, okay? So, um, you know, make sure that you contemplate and that you take a step back before you make any bold moves or rash decisions there, that four of swords energy, okay? Give yourself a little bit of reprieve there, okay? This is also an energy of, you know, introspection, of thinking about things, right? So you might just need to clear your mind um, so that you can make the right choices for yourself here in the month ahead, okay? But this is also an energy of give it a rest, okay? Sometimes we need to be patient, on our journey. No one ever likes to hear be patient because we want things now, right? We want it today. We want it now. We don't want to wait for things, but you may need to wait for something. Perhaps you're waiting for an answer and the king of buttons could be a person that has an answer for you or that you're waiting for an answer from. And spirit says here, don't be impatient. Okay. Because the answers will come for you. All right, and we've got the Six of Matches coming here for you as well. This is beautiful. This is an energy of victory and success. This is an energy of overcoming obstacles and challenges, of being in the spotlight, being in the limelight. You may actually get rewarded for something, rewarded with um, a new job. The six of, uh, six of Matches is the Six of Wands, right? This is a victory march, okay? This is being in the spotlight. This is success. Um, and it's hard won, hard fought, and hard earned, but you deserve it. This is an energy of getting what you deserve or making bold moves to follow your path to success, whatever that looks like for you. Okay. So you may really find your time here that it's your time to shine, your time to be in the spotlight. Again, we've got this calm energy before boom, springing into action. Okay. Or before really accomplishing what we want, you may have some good news coming in. Okay. You may get rewarded with some money or a bonus or uh, an investment may really pay off. This is an incredibly positive energy. But for some of you, I think you're forging a new path. You're making some decisions to leave something behind to follow your path because you want more money. You want long-term stability and security. You want that pension. You want that retirement savings plan, right? You want all of these things in your world, right? So I think you're contemplating first before taking any kind of action, but the bold moves that you do take or the actions that you take put you on the path to success, okay? To where you want to get to, but you may need to um, you might need to uh, do something that you're a little bit unsure of. We've got the unknown that's here at the bottom of the deck here for you. And the unknown brings in an energy of, you know, being open and being receptive, but it has one where you need to have faith. You need to have faith and you need to just make the make the moves that feel right to you. Okay, it is also shows, okay, by the way, that there may be something that uh, comes towards you, okay, or an opportunity presents itself that is previously hidden or previously unknown. So you might get a little bit of a surprise and we do have that coming out with the eclipse energy anyway is that there may be something um, that uh, comes to the surface that's a little bit surprising for you or something that is previously unknown to you. But you may also need to take a chance on yourself and we say that towards the movement towards adventure the journey forward, okay, the eight of cups, your journey forward, you might not necessarily know what the path forward holds, you just know that it's better than where you are right now. So trust and have faith in your journey, trust and have faith in yourself, that you're making the right moves for yourself, even if you're not, are not certain, okay, where you may head or what the outcome might be, right, it just is bringing you an energy of being confident in yourself, okay, that you can follow the right path or that you can make the right moves. But I think here that there's some forces at play for you um, that you cannot see, right? And we've got that coming in with the eclipse energies anyway. We've got the ace of pentacles. You are moving forward. This is coming out with the ace of with the eight of cups. So what is it that you want? Because there's some luck and some magic in the air. Okay, the ace is the birth of something new, something being handed to you. You might get a reward. This can be a new job, a new investment opportunity. All right, something new is blossoming in your world. You might need to strike a path to find it, but it's there with that ace of pentacles. This can be information and knowledge coming in for you as well. And this can spark some journey, maybe. Ooh, the unknown energy maybe you stumble across something because you were meant to 
but it's like, ooh, this is a little bit of a surprise. The aces sometimes do come in as a bit of a surprise. This can be the results of manifestation coming in here, okay? But whatever it is, it carries a little bit of luck and good fortune on your side. We've got the five of wands. You might need to compete for what you want. Right? We've got the five of wands here and the six of matches here, which is the six of wands. So there may be something here that challenges you or something here where you need to um, throw yourself into the mix. Okay, compete for something that you want. Okay, but you have the opportunity here to get it or okay, to rise above the competition. Again, it's your time to shine. Quite often I get the five of wands when people are on the internet and they're all competing for the same job, right? And you have the ability to really overcome all of your other adversaries, okay? But there's also something that's challenging for you, but the blessing here is that you can overcome your challenge. So teamwork may be the order of the day. You, again, may have an opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles, to take a leadership role to get all the troops in your workplace all working together and get them on the same page, perhaps a project um, that you're put in charge of, okay? Whatever it is that this is a blessing for you, your ability to overcome challenges, to get things back on track, all right, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So here's your resources again. So the Four of Pentacles does bring in um, some stability and security, a good, strong, solid foundation. But it also brings in the ability, the um, energy here and the advice from spirit that there may be times in the month ahead where you need to hold on to your resources, okay, where you need to take a conservative approach to spending your money. Trust that you have gotten to a certain point but trust that there's also more to be had for you. And we do have the two fours coming in here side by side. And so the four of um, the four of swords and the four of pentacles. No bold moves until you know what it is that you're doing. Okay. Or just to take a conservative approach and a practical approach at things, and then you will overcome whatever it is that you're battling through, whatever you need to overcome. Because sometimes we have some conflict that we need to work through in order to make the wisest choices for ourselves. So the four of pentacles says there's more abundance and prosperity to come in your life, but sometimes we need to loosen the purse strings and make an investment that ace of pentacles invest in yourself even okay um sometimes we do need to be a little bit conservative and just allow things to happen but don't be closed off in this energy because sometimes the four of pentacles can be closed off okay we want to be open and receptive okay while also you know kind of maybe watching our resources and our pennies but we've got the page of wands here with the six of matches holy moly this is awesome so some of you may have some really great news coming in the page of wands can be an opportunity manifesting into your world this is also your ability to level up or to follow a dream a goal to um, be confident that the actions that you're taking are leading you in the right path this brings in some exciting news or brings in a sense of adventure and following the right path okay being um, really confident okay this can certainly be something new you find something new and you're running with it okay and this really does put you on the right track and it's very exciting so you might get some exciting news or you're getting that sense of confidence like I am ready to explore my options explore my world and I know that I'm going to find what I'm looking for so certainly some doorways and some paths that are opening for you the page of wands by the way likes adventure likes the unknown so just saying so let's see your last messages here and we've got fear face your fear and do it anyway there's something here for you okay that you need to work through that you need to power through okay but by conquering our fear or by facing our fears directly this leads us down our path to success get out of your comfort zone there is something here that is blossoming for you something here that's available for you and sometimes the only thing holding us back is us so there may be something here that you need to address and release, right? We do have the shadowy energy that's coming out, okay? And sometimes we need to do the very thing that we're afraid of, okay? Um, you know, and especially if it means finding something new or leaving our comfort zone, it can be very frightening. But you can use fear to your advantage. And we do have Venus. That's a big influence in the month ahead as well. So you can conquer fear with love, okay? Nurture your fears a little bit, right? Say, hmm, you know what? 
love and light and um you know that uh that energy is chases the shadows away so sometimes we can do that but we've got ooh ka, fruition coming here for you guys okay so something is blossoming in your world it's your time to follow your dreams and your goals to bring something to fruition or to create the life that it is that you're looking for you may need to let something go in order to find what it is that you want to blossom in your life. But I think you are blossoming in here as well, and it's your time to shine. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.